Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jared and I've got Braxton behind the camera. And yeah, I got a funny little microphone. We're trying to get more consistent with it. So here we have 2023 Beta 300 Race Edition. Bike's locked up, not locked up. It blew up already. It's only got 199 miles and 13.4 uh, hours on the bike. So a uh, good customer of mine, great friend, buys a ton of Betas. Matt's been GNCC in this bike. If you guys follow the GNCC, you will know that the John Penton last weekend, maybe two weekends ago now, uh, was a total mud fest. Like, bike made it five miles. So I think um, Matt could have prevented it a little bit by stopping when it was getting hot, but it's all good. He's just excited. So this bike got so hot. Let's talk about this. Let's show this. So if you show in here, his clutch line on, on the corner of the cylinder got so hot it blew all the fluid out of it. So there's zero zero clutch pressure. Um, all of his stator wires that were rubbing on the side of the cylinder as well, uh, rubbed all the way through. So the stator's got some issues that we got to worry about. And what was so hot on this side? Oh, this vent tube got so hot. Check this out, it, like melted a pile of, pile of uh, plastic down there on top of that. So this bike got amazingly hot. Um, even with the stator being like this, it still has spark. So I thought there was a chance it was going to start, but the cylinder and piston, when I looked up through um, the exhaust, it was super scored up. So, and I thought at this point I would show you guys when we're taking this apart, I got the bolts all loose, but the head is like stuck on this thing. And I think they're kind of welded together at this point. So Matt's going to need a new motor. We're going to do our best to get it ready. He's leaving um, to go somewhere. So normally don't use a rubber mallet, but we are... This thing is stuck, and I guess I could take the bolts out so you guys are like, oh, the bolts are holding it, but they're not. The bolts are... He's going to get all new stuff here, so... Um, oh, another side note is, before I took anything apart, we I pulled this off the side, and I'll show a picture. My um, This is full of gear case oil, so this is not a good sign either. So, um, I did clean this all out, but... You can see there's still a puddle of gear case oil in here, so I'm feeling like these crank seals failed, and there must be a ton of oil in the center of this motor. Uh, for the That's like the only way for the oil to get from, the gearbox oil to get from that side of the motor into through here, because this does not go anywhere other than the starter right underneath of it. So there's not a port there, so I'm wondering if the oil is coming straight through the seal. But I just wanted to show you guys what the piston looks like after 13 hours of uh, being brand new, kind of a bummer for Matt. And this thing is welded on there. Um, I thought I'd be like, oh yeah, let's just pop it off and show you guys. But this is good old Matt. She got her good. What's also cool about today is it is our intern's last day. So Cole's been an intern here at the dealership um, for, he's doing his high school stuff. Man, oh, here we go, starting to get it. And uh, he's done today, so I'm gonna take him riding today. He rides dirt bikes, he races, he's gonna do uh, some motocross stuff this weekend, but how cool is that for him? Last day of his internship here at the dealership. Everybody else is in school doing schoolwork and we're gonna do some riding, so that's what we're all about here at the shop. Having a good time, he's gonna learn some stuff and I'm still struggling to get this off of here. Oh. So, yeah, she was hot. I'm wondering if how warped this is. Um, we'll have to lay a flat edge on the top of here to see how warped this is. But if you look down in there, actually for as hot as this was, oh yeah, she's super scored up. So we will continue this. Actually, the whole cylinder feels pretty good except over here on the exhaust side. So we will play with this. And we'll, um, so we're probably gonna cut the video here shortly. And we will come back because we're gonna go riding for a little bit this afternoon. And so we're gonna, um, we'll get the cylinder off and I'll show you more later. Okay guys, welcome back. So today is Saturday. I got back to the shop after we went riding yesterday and we were so busy, so didn't finish this up. But if we look inside of here and you can see how it's scored, let me see if I can, oh yeah, there's a good view. You can see the scoring there. If I flip it around, you'll see all the scoring on that side as well. So cylinder definitely needs to get sent out. Um, all of the little bearings feel okay in here so I can transfer all this stuff over to a new cylinder. With Matt's time frame, we're just going to do a brand new cylinder. We could send this out, we will, and get it replated with a new piston. Um, but we're just going to order a brand new piston and cylinder to keep him riding next weekend. 
I did ohm the stator and the stator is fine. So even with, um, even with the wires chewed up and you can kind of see, see if I can zoom in on that. You can kind of see the wire, there we go. You can see how the wires are pretty chewed up, but everything ohms perfectly. So I'm gonna, what we'll do is we'll cut it and I'm gonna heat shrink brand new connectors on there for each one of those wires. We'll clean it all up, that way it's safe. No need to spend money for no reason. Um, and so now the head is off, or um, cylinder's off. Now we can rotate the piston up, so, um, which we haven't looked at it yet. Just got that off a second ago. So I'm hoping that we, you'll see, like from if I mentioned like earlier that there was oil, gearbox oil on this side. Um, I'm assuming this is soaked down in here. Okay, so yeah, so if you can come in with that and zoom in here. If you look down in here, the crank is soaked. So um, you can see how wet that is with gearbox oil. So what happened is, is our gearbox, um, our main crank bearings seals failed. So on either side of this, we got this crank bearing seal here. And so we need to replace those. So um, let's play with the crank. So the crank feels okay to me. We're gonna get it out of the bike and we'll play with it, but the crank itself and the main bearings feel okay, but I want to, and we need to redo these seals down here. So I think Matt's going to get away with probably just new seals, needle bearing, piston, cylinder, and then probably the head because obviously earlier in this video I had to beat that thing off the bike and I'm not, not super cool with that and I don't think these are all that expensive to just put a new one on there. And Matt isn't the kind of, the customer that's going to be like, oh, let's, let's save $5. We're not, we're not going for that. So. I'm actually super impressed with how well this bike ran. The Penton was super muddy. We've ran a lot of really muddy GNCCs. I think um, Matt doesn't like, you know, in the heat of the moment when you're racing, it's hard to want to stop the race. And I, Matt ran it till it was completely out of coolant, completely. So it's kind of cool to see that the crank and everything still works. It did have like under 100 pounds of compression whenever I was trying to start it. So it still had some compression. It still had spark, but we were, the bottom of the crank is full of oil. So that's why we weren't starting. So. We'll rebuild the bike for Matt. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride.